Hey everybody, it's Matt from ConductorPlugin.com and I want to show you some of the new features that were released today in version 1.3 of Conductor and Note. Uh, but really the bigger changes come at the core of Conductor and how we display your content. Now it's going to be a whole heck of a lot easier for developers to hook into because we switched over to using Flexbox to display uh, and output our various pieces of WordPress content. So here in this example you see this is just a single blog post, or excuse me, a single column blog post uh, archive. And instead of the small, medium, and large, uh, Conductor now comes with a custom display and the user can select by dragging the slider uh, left and right, being able to select from one to six columns uh, of con pieces of content, right? So that's from one to two and we'll make it uh, to go to four. You simply drag that, the customizer updates, and there's our content. Same uh, Conductor options still apply where you can kind of drag these things around or if you don't want to show the continue reading button you can hide it uh, by clicking that and that is using Flexbox at the core of Conductor again it's going to make it a whole heck of a lot easier if you're customizing Conductor outputs or you're integrating them into your themes now it's going to come with a whole heck of a lot more control uh, that said it's also been able it also opens up the door for us to build some more displays uh, and we will have soon a slider add-on for Conductor which will make your content just slide in very simple sliders uh, for conductors. So if I just click on this one, we call this one the testimonials because it would be great for testimonials. But but even this feature hooks into uh, Flexbox as well where the number of columns that you are selecting from to output uh, obviously decides the columns that output in your slider. So if we go from two to one, we will just have one piece of content. Uh, if we go to three, we'll see three pieces of content. Uh, and it's very easy to configure that. There's no, uh, you know, there's not a lot of overwhelming options for the sliders. Uh, it's just very straightforward. You want to display content. What do you want to display here? Do you want to show the continue reading button? You can do that as well if you wanted to. Uh, so it's giving you that same flexibility of conductor, but we're putting it in a slider. And we'll just show some of the other slider uh, displays that we have. We have one called Hero, which is more of a, a full width hero slider. And then one that we're calling News, which is sort of your traditional uh, news site style slider with multiple pieces of content. And again, let's control that through Flexbox as well. We select two and that's that. So what does this mean for the note plugin? Well, I'll give you a quick example. Uh, and this is sort of an upcoming feature for it as well. But we are uh, releasing a new theme. It's called Baton. That's the theme that we're working with right here. But we're going to start to integrate new note displays for our themes, and if you're a theme developer, uh, you too can kind of theme note so that you can have your own custom displays. But how do we leverage Flexbox in that? Well, I'll give you an example. Uh, I've added a note widget right below our conductor widget. I'm gonna show you the features box of this new theme, and immediately you'll see the same similar controls that we just looked at uh, a few minutes ago. So this is one that we're calling features. Uh, the idea uh, behind this is that we're displaying features, right? So I might say something like my features, um, and then we have these pre-formatted feature boxes. Now, typically in a theme, you might have this in some kind of fields and you're sort of locked into those fields and you, if you, if you don't have four features, then you're sort of stuck saying, well, do I type in some features, uh, you know, on, on every other box and sort of fill this in with photos or something like that? Well, again, integrating Flexbox into this. Now we can decide on the amount of columns that we want. So we can select two columns if I only have two features or uh, if I have six features, uh, again, maybe overkill, but you can go up to six features and then uh, even more so you could add in rows. So you could do something like six by two, which would give you 12 features uh, starting to sort of look like a checkerboard or you could scale that back and kind of design more of a different grid layout by doing two by two, which will give you four, uh, which is great. So it's adding some flexibility, uh, I guess no, no pun intended with, the, with the, uh, the idea of using Flexbox, but it's giving you that flexibility to make these decisions. And uh, again, it's not locking you into sort of these predetermined styles, although you can't change the way this is styled unless you uh, target the CSS. It is giving you that flexibility to say, hey, look, if I don't have four or maybe I want a, a more of a square uh, layout like this, I can do that. So that is uh, the upcoming features that were just released today in both versions 1.3 of Conductor and Note. You can get Note for free, wordpress.org slash plugins slash Note, and you can get Conductor at conductorplugin.com.